I was on the track, so you know it's fine. Tags don't never lie. Yo, what's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? It's Hold on the track. Gonna do a video. I'm gonna try my best to present y'all with some facts about the producers that y'all see out here talking talking some wild shit claiming they make six figure numbers but we're gonna get into some of the things that they maybe are not saying openly so yeah man without further ado let's just get straight into it now first things first there's one thing that i want you to all be aware of is that the ones who are climbing up to the ladder up with the ladder the most the ones who are yeah being talked about the most is usually the ones who spend the most money now what does that mean spend money on what fake views or advertisement probably both to be honest but dj Av said something in very interesting in one of his videos which he said that he's spending 10 bands ten thousand dollars on advertisements for his platform his own platform which is a lot of us out here we don't really have that to spend but that just goes to show you need to the whole spend money to get money kind of thing for us that don't have uh, all the money in the world to spend on advertisements and all of that stuff i found something very interesting there's a lot of dudes out here who claiming to make six figure numbers selling beats giving away loops collabing all of that stuff and they're claiming it that they did it through just sending out loops and stuff for free because apparently producers always want loops which I, uh, i'm a little bit on the fence with that i'm a little bit on the fence with that I have I have had producers send me loops before and I don't even know if they were original creations by the ones who sent me the loops um so I'm not really they, they but they never like they never continued on with the with 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 our connection they never we never connected on anything and some of the beats are actually out without their name on it for that reason they never stayed around they never stayed around so in order to do this i don't know how many people these dudes be sending beats out to or sending loops out to but it gotta be like close to a hundred different people or, or more who just took emails out or went to their social medias and s just sent messages all to them to ask if they could send loops or not even that because First, you need to engage with them for them to actually even care just a little bit. And then you, you ask them after a certain period. I don't know. I don't know how long would be ideal in that sense. To send them loops, you have to, you have to build a relationship with them first for them to accept your loops, your work. But then after you build a relationship with them, you communicate it with them, you praise their work or whatever. Then you ask them, yo, can I send you some loops? You might like them. Okay. They give you they give you an email. You send them over. And because you have a relationship with them, you can do, I don't know, 50-50, which in this case, this guy who are found to be claim who, who claims to make six six figure numbers from selling beats online from mainly collabs all of his dough his cash came from collab collaborations with bigger producers on beat stars and all that so sound like a lot of work but I'm not saying that he's capping or anything about the six figure numbers making six figures. There could actually be some be some money in this for real for real. However, 
he's not telling you about the, the, the process I, that I just told you you had to go through to even get there and a lot of people they they send you one pack and they they communicate with you on on some DMs occasionally or hop in the stream or whatever and then, then you never see them again I know most of, most of them to be doing that they'd they be like teenagers and stuff but like if you finna do this do it like that you better like keep on like pause by the way you better keep it keep it consistent keep it going keep uh, engaging with the the ones that you're trying to work with for real for real I don't actually know if this guy mentions it in 2019 I made 25,000 and in 2020 I made $62,000 so if you add all of those up calculator out so when we add it all up I made four hundred and twenty thousand nine hundred and seventy three dollars in total since 2018 so that's what he's claiming don't know if that's a hundred percent true or not selling beats loops all that stuff through beat stars and that's that now i'm gonna get into my next stream of income which is loopstash.com i started this site about a yeah we can skip that part that's your self advertisement uh where does he start with the spicy things as much as i could and i was just grinding all right so then he's basically going through like his rise, how he rose up from the from zero to four six figures. Next month, I made about a thousand dollars in collab sales with a thousand one hundred and sixty nine, which is not a huge improvement, but we're we're still moving yeah, up. This is I've where he starts talking about the collabs. These collaborators and they're getting more sales. At this point, I can't complain. Now, July of twenty twenty is where things really changed for me. And this is mostly because I met my boy, Dilly got a bump in. So I went in on the email and I saw that the guy who purchased it was from Denver, Colorado, which is where I'm from. And he actually had a huge pop in YouTube channel. So this is the part that I don't understand. It just so happened to, to have a guy who's popping on the, on, on big stars for real, for real. And he just so happened to live in the same city as you. And now you are collaborating with him. I mean, it seems a little, a little, what's the word we use for that? Seems a little cabbish, but. I figured I had to try to lock in with this guy. From there, I DM'd him and we set up a time to link. Figured that I had to try and lock in with this guy. Let's continue. Link up. I went over to his brother's house where we were meeting up. In a few minutes in, we started talking about beats, you know, stuff like that. And he showed me his sales. And in the past 30 days, he had made 30K selling beats on BeatStars, which was... Again, 30K from selling beats on BeatStars. Making beats is very... What do we call that? Niche. So if you can make... 30k off of selling beats from beat stars by the way i should probably i should probably look this fella name up that he's talking about my god dilly dilly diddly um <laughs> i'm butchering the name bro code so i went in on the email and i saw that the guy who purchased it was from denver colorado which is where i'm from and he actually had a huge <laughs> oh, no 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 channel, no so i figured but yeah, anyways, at this point, I had a ton of beats that were kind of popping off, getting 100k views here, 200k views there. And I was really just trying to run it up and see how far I could take this. But not so, on that channel. So, October of 2020. He said, he said he did it with no followers, but he, 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 he capping about that. That's $9 sure. in collapse. That's the dream, right? Like everyone wants to make six figures selling beats online. And I was doing that within six months of just grinding, sending loops every single day to people. And when there is no way you can make money. Yes, but six figures, bro. 
just so happened to meet a guy who was from the same place that he was and he said he started from zero doing that you, you, you did not start from zero bro why would they even give you attention if you had no followers why why would these people that you're talking about you collab with give you that attention and the respect to be on equal terms with them 50 50 splits for some loops really let's continue and when i say i was sending loops i was not just sending loops to 10 or 15 people i've been sending out to one 200 people a day every single day flooding spamming people's inboxes just hoping to get some collabs which it ended up working for me so now we're in november of 2020 and things went up again i made nearly twelve thousand dollars in collabs by the way, that little uh, is apparently his loop. There's the loop he did. The producer needed him to do that loop for him. A basic ass triad. Chord. Chord. A basic chord, one chord. And the reason that it went up so much in these past couple months is this beat I had with Versa called Walk My Choppa, which actually ended up being the number one top seller on BeatStars in 2021. Put that screenshot right there. There's so many things wrong with this. How come he ends up doing the number one selling beat on BeatStars for 2021? When he started with no followers and his channel is this channel here is no older than two years i believe it's not even a year old this channel is not is one year old yeah fifth of october 2021 do you get it what is happening here do you, do, do you see what's happening here something is something is it doesn't add up. I had done all this with literally no brand. I literally had no platform. Didn't he say at the beginning of the video that he has a website called Loopstash? The fuck are you talking about? Do you do, do you actually think we were taught it? On Loopstash, as I showed you before. I'm not saying he he the, the money he didn't he um he made is not true but he's capping about how he did it he's not he's not giving he's not selling he's not saying it he put with no followers and then he said in the video with literally no branding which is cap that you have a whole website called loopstash where the dude that found you purchased your you know in order to find somebody you you, you gotta brand yourself you gotta put yourself out there in the first place so saying that he had no branding for someone who's a who's a big shot on beat stars finding you what are we talking about you had your you had everything set up already right that means you got branding your brand already when you have everything set up and a name that's a brand before I made a hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars. I started this from absolutely nothing literally no followers in the beginning and I started That's how everybody starts Making money off that's nothing more interesting to look at for this video He already had the whole script laid out for him before the before he even started I Don't even know what is his other channel called? He has an he has a second channel. I want to see his his channel, the, uh, the other channel he was talking about, where he had beats that blew up. Where is it? Where is your other channel at? Yo guys, what's going on? Where is your other channel, bro? Where the fuck is it? Where is your channel? I don't see it. I cannot find it. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Do you have a link to it on your Instagram? Tutorial channel. Local supply loop stash. Oh, this is the red. This is the funny thing. Look, watch this, bro. 
he charged three hundred dollars for one hour phone call. Were you finna cap about how you got there, how you got to where you got to? What are you gonna tell them in the phone call? How to leverage fake views? Get the fuck out of here, bro. I can't even. You, the, the the channel you was talking about, where you had boot beats popping off. I can't find. It. Do you even exist? Oh, he's on producer ground too. Oh, that's very this recent. <laughs> that's today. Yeah, his story seems a little too convenient. You get a sale on a loop kit and it turns out to be some big shot. One of the bigger producers on BeatStars who make 30k a month. From the same city as you, so you're locked in with him. The summary is, a lot of these people are not being 100% honest with you. About how they even got those connections to begin with. Because there is no... Oh, maybe there is, but I, I told you, like, like I said at the start, the, the, the way to do this is not that you just click the follow button and then send them a message and say, yo, can I send you some loops? No, that, that's not how it works. You connect with them, you engage with them, like their, like their content, comment, all that stuff. Engage with them in DMs. And then after a certain time period, I don't know, I don't know how long it would be, but a few weeks maybe. You would ask them, yo, can I send you some loops? Or for a producer who's trying to connect with a rapper, like, engage with their content, use the IG music thing on the story, on the IG stories. Use that track, use that song, and yeah, and then ask him, or they might come to you, because you showed them that you care, and they're gonna appreciate that, and they're gonna come to you, so yeah man, that's how it, that, that's how it really happens, those kind of connections, however that is a lot of work. A lot of work. You gotta find them first too. Which is a pain in the ass, I'm telling you. You gotta find people first. I have found a few though. Even though some of them I haven't heard from in a while. I haven't seen a post or anything. So I don't really know. But yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you would do it in an ideal scenario. But that's not what this guy did. The sounds of it, he just got like, oh, I just got lucky. I don't. I just, it happened out of the blue, <gasps> like like that. Then within not even two years, he went from making a couple grand here and there to making 10, 30, 10, 20, 30 bands a month, just like that. Because of this one connection, because of this one guy, which then turned into more guys, connected him into more people. It can happen, but the way that he described it, caperoni, bro. That's not how you do it. And a lot of these people, they keep their circles tight too. So yeah, producer game one on one. Watch for the cap and white boy. No racism. Nah, it ain't just white boys capping though. There's a few like melanated folks out here. Capping too. Let's talk about it. I know there's some other videos about this type of stuff. They all just bullshitting really. And they're not very good either. That's the worst part. They're not good. <laughs> I'm way better than all of them. I can get, I can, I can shh. You, you have seen what I can do on live when the energy is right there's no question about it I can do what he did and probably half the time he did and way better than he can do it and I got the equipment too I got a Zulu a $700 Zulu a proper sound card not a, not a Scarlet 2i2 
If I, fi if, if I find out that, that this guy is using a Scarlet 2i2 and he says he, he's making 30k dollars a month. Dog. It was the first thing that I did when I started to get some some a little bit of cash from the producing. Was that I went and got them upgraded everything. Everything got upgraded. PC. Sound card. I got the Zulu. In 2020. And I was and I was making nowhere near that. I haven't even been close to that. That's it for this video. It's gonna get too goddamn long. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Um, remember to check out all my beats. Shit, we got them. It's the best beats on the market. Not that anybody cares, but just saying. Just saying, some of the best, some of the best trap beats you're gonna find. I guarantee you that. We got, I got a code out right now. Thank you, twenty. You get twenty percent off all the licenses, exclusives included. So yeah, anyways, man, I'm out. Let me know how you feel about it. And yeah, till next time, man. Peace. Have a good one.